live now to Sarah Kimani from Kenya. She's going to be uh, giving us some insight to, into a possible night vigil, we understand, will be taking place a little bit later today. Sarah, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. What do we know about that vigil for students who were murdered at the Garissa University? Well, uh, what, what the latest now is that uh, as the country continues to mourn, uh, to you know, come to terms with the attack that caught most Kenyans by surprise, uh, the Kenyan Air Force has uh, taken uh, onto the skies, and we understand uh, for the better part of the day. And yesterday, Monday, they bombed a uh, hideout uh, that I believe to be uh, where the Al Shabaab militant group uh, are operating from. This, by yesterday evening, they still could not give us the casualties or the number of uh, militants they had killed uh, inside Somalia. But there was a lot of reports coming out that uh, they may have targeted areas that in, had innocent uh, children and women, and so there may be collateral damage. But a lot of Kenyans also asking, uh, why did it happen now? Why didn't uh, the Kenya Defense Forces carry out their attacks earlier? Thing is, they, ha they are inside the country, and they went to Somalia uh, in, uh, at the end of uh, 2011 to be able to you know, control these attacks and, and uh, kidnappings that were already happening inside the country. Sarah, what's the prevailing sentiment on the ground there in Kenya as we speak? Is it one of anger? Is it one of revenge? Uh, are people uh, grieving? Is there solidarity? What's the prevailing mood there? There is a grieving solidarity with the families. But there is also anger. I've not uh, heard much of revenge, but I have heard a lot of anger. Anger at uh, the, the, the militants, it's anger at a government that seems to be reacting only after an incident has taken place. And sometimes even anger at the media, which is seen uh, also not to be holding the government accountable uh, when these things happen. But uh, Kenyans have come out in their numbers, take for example, like you saw in the story, uh, to donate blood. Uh, they have donated food stuff for the families that have been camping at the mortuaries. And they have shown uh, that they can stand united even in cases like this. Of course, there's a lot of uh, questions of whether these are uh, indeed Kenyan uh, who are carrying out these attacks. Are they Somalis? Are they targeting Christians in Kenya? Are they, you know, separating or do they want to separate the country? All those questions coming up. The answers, of course, too slow uh, to come for those who are already gone. Sarah, we're going to have to leave it there. I'm afraid due to time constraints, but thank you so much for that update. And that's how we wrap up your 7 o'clock news.